Michael Bloomberg says he is ready to run, but he plans to skip the first four 2020 Democratic contests. That's a risky strategy, and it's a big bet on a Biden collapse. Let's take a look at the state of the Democratic race. This is a national poll of polls, averaging out the last five or six national polls. Biden on top, but Elizabeth Warren right on his heels. That's within the margin of error. Bernie Sanders, you might call that the top tier anyway, the top three right there. Mayor Buttigieg and Senator Harris rounding out the top five Democrats. These candidates have been on the track for months and months. Bloomberg says the voters maybe don't want them. If you look at the states, there's some evidence that, yes, Democrats haven't warmed completely to this new field. Look at these battleground state polling from the New York Times and Siena College. A lot of don't knows. 31 percent in Arizona, 29 percent in Florida, 23 percent in Michigan, 32 percent in North Carolina. You see Pennsylvania and Wisconsin. Biden, Warren, Sanders at the top of the pack in these key battleground states. But Bloomberg can say, look, they've been running for months and roughly a third of Democrats, maybe three in ten, don't know. They're still looking for somebody else. OK, that's one piece of the scenario. Could he run in a Democratic field? You think of the party drifting to the left. Well, Bloomberg actually fits if he runs. Democrats were asked in this New York Times poll, do you want someone who fights for a bold progressive agenda? A third of Democrats say that. Six in ten say someone who can find common ground with Republicans. Bloomberg is a former Republican and a former Independent. Do you want someone to be more liberal than most Democrats? Four in ten Democrats say that. More than half say someone who's more moderate than most Democrats. Now, Bloomberg is progressive on guns, on climate, but he's more moderate on some fiscal issues. If you look at him versus Joe Biden, this is our poll back in Iowa a few months ago. Bloomberg's not going to run in Iowa. But look, Joe Biden, very well liked by Democrats, likely caucus goers. Bloomberg, much split opinion. Almost 40 percent said they had an unfavorable view. So he'd have to get the party to warm to him, if you will. Fox News in a poll last week asked, do you want another Democrat in the race? And if so, what do you think of? 50 percent of Democrats say they'd definitely vote for Michelle Obama if she got in. Only 8 percent said never. 27 percent said they'd definitely vote if Hillary Clinton made another run. 30 percent said never. Look at this for Bloomberg. Only 6 percent of Democrats said they would definitely vote for Michael Bloomberg, and nearly a third said never. So there's a challenge for Bloomberg as he plans to get into the race. Again, he's betting on a Biden collapse. Joe Biden says, come on in, Mike. I think he should jump in the race. I mean, I, he's a good guy. Uh, he's done a lot of good, and uh, let's see what happens. And the notion that the current field is not... Well, the current uh, to, be, to beat Donald Trump, which is what's motivating him, that's a, what, what his top advisor Well, I've noticed that every single poll is run. I beat him like a drum, as I said. There's in, in states in the South, and states in the Midwest, and states around the world. So, look, I, 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 look uh, if he wants to run, he should just get in and run. You're not taking it personally? No, 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 no. Yes, he is. Um, uh, uh, but, that, but that's what he has to say. But look, on the one hand, it's ludicrous. You can skip the first four contests, and then you can get in and say, here I am to save the party. On the other hand, all of those candidates, especially if you have a split verdict between the first four states, are going to be draining all their money, and Michael Bloomberg can write himself a check as we get into the bigger states where the delegates are actually at stake. Is it ludicrous, or is it real? I mean, it's ludicrous. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, really. If you just showed the number. Six percent of Democrats said they wanted Michael Bloomberg. They would vote for him versus 32 percent who would who said never, never. I think that that's a clear sign that this is not Democratic pri primary politics. You have to actually win the primary. If we were running sort of like a, a popular vote uh, election and you just could kind of campaign wherever you wanted and pick up votes wherever you wanted all the way until you go up against Trump in November, that would be fine. But you have to win the Democratic primary. And it's going to be very difficult to do that if you don't know which pockets of the Democratic right. Party you appeal to. It, just because right. Democrats want a moderate doesn't mean that they want um, a billionaire New Yorker right. uh, who right. But, uh, but, but let me just race. record with, but, with but black voters to uh, be their nominee. But fewer than 5 percent of the delegates, race. fewer than 5 percent of the delegates will be chosen in those first four contests. Then you get into the blur where you have Super Tuesday and then another, you call it Second Super Tuesday, where a ton of delegates. If you can write yourself a check and be on television, you can make a difference. To the billionaire point, the two progressives in the race, Sanders and Warren, say, oh, Mike, please get in. This is great for us. I don't think that... Um, Big money ought to be able to buy our elections. And that's true whether we're talking about billionaires or corporate executives that fund PACs or big lobbyists. Tonight, we say to Michael Bloomberg and other billionaires, sorry, you ain't going to buy this election.
But Donald Trump, who's nowhere near as rich as Michael Bloomberg, is president of the United States. They're talking about a Democratic primary electorate. Uh, but how big is that slice in the Democratic primary electorate? Again, Bloomberg, for all that, you know, he says money doesn't grow on trees, so, so he's moderate on fiscal issues like that. But he's been ahead of the party on immigration. He's been ahead of the party on climate change. He's been spending a lot of his own money, just had success in the Virginia elections on gun control. You know, Dan Ball said a great column this morning about this. Uh, the candidate that bet everything on gun control, better or work, is out of the race. The candidate that bet everything on climate change, Jay Inslee, out of the race. There, uh, there, there are moderate candidates. There are, there are people who support what Mike Bloomberg has spent all this money on across the field. So it's unclear what void he is filling in this contest aside and but even even the billionaire lane is kind of full, kind right? Of he's not with he's, 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 <laughs> he's making an assumption right now that a lot of Democrats have been talking about, which is that Joe Biden is going to collapse. Joe right. Biden has not collapsed thus right. far. I mean, we've been talking about this through the summer into the fall that Joe Biden is going to have this big stumble. His poll numbers have gone down a little bit, but he's still, you know, at the top of the pack with Warren and with Sanders. Money has gone down. He had a better uh, last month on digital fundraising. But Bloomberg is basically looking at this and hearing from a lot of people who say, hey, if this really does happen, Warren and Sanders are going to fill the void and we don't think that they're electable. That's the bet that he's making. It works under a couple of big assumptions that, again, haven't happened yet. But he, again, is hearing from a lot of people who say, oh, Elizabeth Warren candidacy would be a loser against Donald Trump. So, so that it's, you raise a great point. How much of this is what America wants and what the Democratic Party wants, because that's what he's thinking of, the Democratic primary, and how much of it is New York and right. Washington conversations? I'm Matt Pfizer in The Washington Post. Just reading the newspaper here. <laughs> uh, names being floated as potential candidates include Massachusetts Governor Deval, former Massachusetts Governor Deval Patrick, former U.S. Attorney General Eric Holder, former Secretary of State John Kerry. The party's 2004 nominee has also been mentioned, although people close to him insist he will not enter the race. The party's 2016 nominee, Hillary Clinton, was fielding calls in recent days about whether to get into the race, some close to her said. Huh? <laughs> this is so DC and New York, it hurts me. I'm, <laughs> I'm going to go out on a limb. Hillary Clinton will not be running for president this year at any point. There's a difference uh, but, between those people fielding calls, right, which but, is but, certainly happening, and those people actually taking and, steps and, to and, and the truth is, you know, And the truth is, as much as I think the idea of skipping these four states is, is kind of, as, as you said, ludicrous, I do think that if all of the things come to pass and what you end up with after those four states is really just Bernie Sanders and Elizabeth Warren and the rest of the pack has completely fallen apart, there right. is a clamoring and an opening yes. for some other ideological right. alternative to the two of them. And in that space, somebody could fill it, whether that person at that point could win, whether it's Michael Bloomberg, who is that person, Hard to say, but the, I mean, that is not a scenario that is impo impossible or implausible, that, that that's where we will be right. kind of after those first... Be because states. if he spends the money while the first four contests are playing out, if he's on TV in all those states, even those other candidates, Clinton, Kerry, Patrick, maybe they could raise money, but if you're not up and running, that takes time. Yeah. And those, the Super Tuesday and the second Super Tuesday come like that. And, and so look, we'll see. Bill billionaires are always very stingy with their money. That's how they became billionaires. Does he really want to... Does he want to spend it on this lark? I mean, how much money? Was, hundreds it, of millions of dollars, potentially. You could spend yeah, but you can't, but you billion. can't stress well, yeah, that that much. Not that voters much. do matter here because I'm old enough <laughs> to remember when never Trumpers were going to find someone to run right. against yep. Donald Trump right. if he was the yep. if he was the eventual nominee. And here we are. There's no yeah. substitute for genuine enthusiasm, yes. and I think that's, that's what that shows as well. Yeah.